So amine is going to contain a new functional group, which we've not looked at before, and it actually contains a nitrogen atom. So amines have some sort of carbon chain and nitrogen and two hydrogens. So that would be a primary amine because he's got two, uh, two hydrogens. But what makes him special, which is the first bit we're going to look at, is the nitrogen atom has a lone pair of electrons on him. Because he's got a lone pair of electrons, he can act as a base. What's a base? Or a proton, etc. Yeah. An acid is a proton donor, a base is a proton acceptor. So, how can he act as a base? He can act as a base because he has a lone pair on the nitrogen atom which can form a dative covalent bond with H+. So that's on your summary sheet, but where people go wrong in the exam is you say, oh Amy, has he got a lone pair on them? They can act like a base. It's a lone pair on the nitrogen. nitrogen atom, which means he can act as a base. So let's do an example of him acting as a base. Um, oh, let's have a look at that. Naming is dead easy. If R is CH3, what's CH3? What would we call a CH3 group? Methyl. So he would be called. Yeah. Yeah, well done. You're on a roll. Well, we just know. Is electron giving the same as proton except? I know it's equivalent. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah. You've got to be careful that you're not talking about a nuclear file more in B. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what do you read this one? Come on, Florence. Sorry? What's this one going to be called? Yeah, ethylamine. Yeah, ethylamine. Yeah, I have my hand up. Oh, sorry. I was ignoring you. <laughs> okay. Ethylamine, and then you just go through propylamine, things like that. Oh. Propylamine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or propylamine. So how can it act as a base? Well, let's do it for ethylamine. So CH3, CH2, NH2, and we're going to react him with HCl. Where is the H going to go? He's going to pop onto the nitrogen, because that's the bit that acts as a base. So I'm going to form NH3 plus Cl minus. So if we do this ethylamine plus hydrochloric acid plus hydrochloric acid. Now how do I name this guy? Well, what would I call that iron NH4 plus ammonium? ammonium. So it's dead easy to make to do this. I would call this ethyl ammonium. Chloride. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And this is a salt. Remember, we say a salt we make by replacing the H of an acid with. Yeah, but that's we've replaced it with this positive ion there. That's a salt, and because he's a salt, he's soluble in water. So but obviously, a as my carbon chain gets longer, they become less soluble. For reasons we talked about when we looked at carbon 